Hello. What did you make of the performance overall? Some terrific performances from the young boys and Norman's terrific as well. Yeah, very good moments, very good. A couple of individual performances, of course. 75 minutes we controlled the game nearly perfect. Um, but then <laughs> with a really not high number of possession, um, and Gidons did obviously a lot of good stuff, so it was then really tricky. Cleve Kelleger, but um, um, to be honest, um, these games are there that, um, that the boys can show um, how good they are. Standing for a goal, it's quite difficult in a game like this. But then being there, in the, um, having not a lot to do over the whole game, and then having these kind of saves, that's really, that's absolutely brilliant. So happy about that as well. Could have done better, of course, in that period. There's no doubt about that. But um, before that, we controlled the game. We started well as a team, well, but then we got a bit stiff. So because the score, early goal would have helped. I would say um, had to force the goal. Then obviously, Milly saw the he saw the player. The, the, the team was tonight a team with a little bit of lack of um, rhythm and lack of experience. And uh, the most experienced and the most the player with the most rhythm was the best player on the pitch. So Milly, that <laughs> wasn't pretty obvious. Um, but it's so important that we that we still do these games then that we have it that we that we are brave enough to use the boys because we were not here because we with this lineup because we don't respect the boys we, uh, the, the competition we were here to win the game no other reason and uh, we don't fly to London and do all that stuff and then say goodbye um, so I'm really happy that we went through that's that's cool and that the boys felt adults football as well that's really important very physical. Um, situations for, for the offensive players, especially because of uh, um, not overly hard but hard challenges, and still they could show in moments how good they are. So a big step for them. I'm really happy about that, and all good. Uh, just ask you a little bit more about him. He just set such a great example, didn't he? But you know, yeah. such a, an amazing appetite. You know, and, yeah. The way he Absolutely. <laughs> this man is on fire. Uh, yeah, that's how it is. That's good. Um, helps a lot. Is uh, that's the, um, the the real role model for for young players as well. Like it being every if he would play every day, Millie would be like this every day. So um, um, that, that's how it is. And um, oh, absolutely, absolutely brilliant. Uh, well, yeah, um, how I said, um, very 16 years old still, and um, um, this kind of footballer is good. It's really good for us. Um, brilliant boy, takes the situation really well. Wants to learn. Um, tonight, um, really, um, he will always be a, a special player for moments. But his overall performance, when you see him defending, you see how smart he move, his movements are so smart. It's not easy to uh, easy to play to outplay him. Stuff like that. So that's really, that's really, really good. And his left foot is, is not too bad. So um, yeah, a bit unlucky. Otherwise, he would have scored. Um, but it's good player. So they all, they are all good. They're no, we, have, we don't have bad young players, to be honest. Um, they are all really skilled. But that's why it's so important that we can give them these, mo these, 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 these matches. And um, yeah, we will try to continue like this. We will see. Yeah. Yeah. The second goal from the 17-year-old. It was. It was. Um, look, this is on the moment. Kijana, how it is? I, I didn't play with 18 years old, when I was 18 years old and on, on a similar stage. So it was quite impressive. The, the atmosphere was good. It's a big stadium, really nice stadium, by the way. Um, I wish other clubs in London would have had similar dressing rooms. But uh, <laughs> so um, and so yeah, he had the first half was very very defensive orientated stuff like that and I'm not sure if it was very often in the box but when it was needed in the, in, the, in, the, in the other box and it was there a wonderful goal wonderful cross wonderful goal um, so yeah absolutely good there's no reason to decide that now so for now because in the moment he can pay, play for sure both but uh, the fullback is a little bit better for him in the moment we have to see how he develops physically the, the center is a very demanding position you have to be physically 100 percent ready usually has the speed has the passing um, quality to do so crossing can be improved um, but uh, a lot of skills for the way which are necessary or useful on, on the on the fullback position speed um, but that has to be all the things have to be more natural as well like this desire to 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 go in the right direction open up when you 
control the pass already that you see the pitch. There are so many things to improve for the boys, but it's not. Uh, you say, well, you have 17 years old, and then um, if they couldn't improve anymore, that would be really strange. And um, they have the most time, and hopefully we use that together with them. How, how good is this generation overall? Because we have got a clutch of 16, 17 years old. So we don't have to make them now, now big, <laughs> quicker, bigger than necessary. That's how it is. So they're, they're, they're all good, but there's no reason to to, to say now the, the the other one is not in the same moment, in a, on the same level in this moment that he's not there in, in in a year or so. No reason. They all have the right environment. Um, we will improve that environment as well. So um, we will bring in no more. Um, manpower there that we can really take care for these boys a little bit more and all that stuff so that's really important we we, we believe in them but they have to um, they have to make the next step you saw it tonight it says i told them after the game the last 10 minutes then um maybe what didn't feel that well and these boys are naturally fit but you saw it was not the game anymore eh? so they lost it and that's not okay and then you see millie he was running around that's then what you that's you have to feel it on the pitch that's why it's so important you can whatever i tell them it's not the same when, um, if they feed it on the pitch. So. Yeah. Final one, guys. Okay. What did you make of the way uh, MK approached the game? Good in, in the end, eh? so they changed a lot during the game, before the game already. Played 5 4 1, I think, the last couple of games in the league. Changed that system for us tonight. They changed it during the game again. I really. Uh, and then they had a lot of chances in, in the end, eh? so that's that's all good. Very physically strong, smart strikers, I would say. They, they used their body really well. Um, with a bit more speed from us um, in, in, in passing uh, and stuff, I think we, they would have had more problems. We had good situations in 1-1 one, one when we went through 1-1 one, one, through a milli first half in, a, in the um, Curtis in the box. Yeah, open if you are a bit more clear in this situation and we can score earlier. But that's how it is. They did what they could and um, I think the whole the whole project looks really nice and I hope the rest of the club is as good as the team and the, and, and the stadium. <laughs> and, and there's really a positive future there, I would say, because it was just it, it was good fun tonight coming here. Supporters were on the side of their team but not um, overly um, against us, I would say. So it was just they, they enjoyed the night um, and because we control the game so much it became only really exciting for them probably in the last 10 minutes but that must be exciting enough for tonight so we go in the next round and um, yeah it was nice and empty dance.